Hi guys and greetings to my aviation family. Welcome back to my channel Bee Winger and my name is Ravish Bhalla. In today's video we're going to discuss something which is very technical but at the same time extremely useful for pilots. NOTAMs. What are NOTAMs? NOTAM series, types of NOTAM. Now this is a two part series so in the next part I'm going to tell you how to decode a NOTAM. So if you're a budding pilot, aspiring pilot or a pilot who loves to study and revise old concepts then this video is for you. But even if you're not a pilot and want to sound cool in front of your friends just by saying true airspeed, no terms, angle of attack, Bruh. then this video is for you too. It's a good to know thing. But for pilots, it's a need to know thing. Or in fact, I should say it's a must know thing. So let's get it started. Chokes off. One, two. What are NOTAMs? NOTAMs are short for Notice to Airmen. It's an acronym. Technically, a NOTAM is a notice containing information concerning the establishment condition or any change in aeronautical facility, procedure or hazard, the timely knowledge of which is essential to the person concerned with flight operations. Bruh. Are you that every NOTAM or Notice to Airmen covers aeronautical facility aeronautical service, airspace restrictions and hazards that are likely to affect the flight operations. The first document was published way back in 1947 and it was not called as NOTAMs. In fact, it was called Procedures for International Notice to Airmen. After 33 amendments, the NOTAM term was coined and it came under an extra 15th of the IACAO. This defines how aeronautical information shall be collated, originated, edited, published and distributed uniformly for safe flying operations. Now it's the responsibility of every country to make this information available to its operator. How? By notice to MN or NOTAMs. In India, NOTAMs are issued by Airport Authority of India which is under the aegis of Ministry of Civil Aviation and is further subdivided into regions Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata and Chennai depending on the airfield under each region and these are distributed in two forms either by means of telecommunication or any other means but telecommunication but in India there are international airports domestic airports, defense controlled airports, helipads and private airstrips. And depending on each airfield, a series of NOTAMs is issued. And therefore we need series for that. Now every NOTAM that is being issued will have a time frame, origin and a particular information that it carries regarding that NOTAM. Now these NOTAMs are issued in five series. Series A, Series B, Series C, Series D and Series G. A good way to remember this is a NOTAM is a five letter word. N-O-T-A-M. So Series A, B, C, D, G. Series A. Any information likely to last for more than two hours and affects international aircraft operations come under Series A NOTAMs. By international aircraft operations, I mean the facilities that provide or cater to both international as well as domestic flights. For example, let's take IGI Delhi. Now let's say ILS of runway 29 is not functional because it's under maintenance. And that maintenance time would be more than two hours and it would be fixed, let's say in about five to six hours. So the notice would be issued under series A and would be applicable to both domestic as well as international flights. Series B, any information likely to last for more than 30 minutes but less than 2 hours and affects international aircraft operations comes under series B. For example, again let's take IGI airport for reference. Now there is a rejected takeoff on runway 29 and the runway would be blocked for about 1 to 1 and a half hours. Now a sudden notice would be issued and this would come under series B. Series C. In this information also lasts for more than two hours but caters for domestic aircraft operations. 
If you notice series A and series C are absolutely identical. Series A takes care of international aircraft operations while series C takes care of domestic flight operations. For example, let's take Tirupati in this case. This is a domestic airfield. So if anything goes wrong or if there are any changes warnings in that particular aerodrome, that would be informed under series C NOTAM. Series D, any information related to defense controlled airfields or military controlled airfields come under series D. The interesting part is this NOTAM is issued by air headquarters. So the air headquarters decide this particular NOTAM, sends it to airport authority of India and finally they release this NOTAM as series D. Series G, any information that lasts for a long period of time and affects all aircraft operations in general comes under series G. For example, if there is any procedural change, let's say if the Boeing 737 MAX is not allowed to fly over Indian skies, so a notice would be issued and that would come under series G. Now only international NOTAM office in Delhi would be able to issue this NOTAM or this series. Now did you notice there are no series E and F? To be very honest, there is no logic behind why they are not there. It's some of the mysteries of aviation. But according to me, it's just because of naming. For example, series G relates to general and series D relates to defense and you know, you get the drift. But if you know the real reason why series E and F are not being used, do let me know in the comment section. So for better understanding, you may want to pause this next bit of information. I hope you've understood the concept of series of NOTAMs. But what if in the NOTAM information, some information needs to be changed or replaced altogether? This is where types of NOTAMs comes into play. There are four types of NOTAMs. NOTAM N, NOTAM C, NOTAM R and NOTAM S. This is country specific and could be different in different countries. Now, how would you remember that there are four types? So type is a four letter word, T, Y, P, E. So there are four types of NOTAM. NOTAM N, NOTAM S, NOTAM C, NOTAM R. NOTAM N stands for new NOTAM. Usually the first NOTAM that is issued of any series will come under NOTAM N. NOTAM R stands for replace a NOTAM. So if any information from any series needs to be replaced, it will be NOTAM R. NOTAM C stands for cancel a NOTAM. Any information that needs to be cancelled of any series, then NOTAM C would be written on that information. NOTAM S stands for SNOTAM or hazard. So if any hazard is reported, will come under NOTAM S. Now I've seen a lot of people getting confused between series and types of NOTAM. So types just updates the series NOTAMs. That's it. But if you want to know further, I request you to watch my next series, which is how to decode a NOTAM. You'll get more clarity from that. So if you've got any doubts regarding this topic, or you think I missed out on something, because like you, I'm also learning, do let me know in the comment section. And if you find this video useful, or you think this would be useful to your pilot friend, do share this video with him or her. With that, remember, it's all about attitude. If you learn good, you fly good. See you in the flight deck.